Hello and welcome to HP Calcs. I'm Rick and today we're going to have a look at how we can use the memory function to store and recall values on the Casio FX300 ES Plus calculator. To do this we'll be using the shift key that looks like this located here, the store and recall key that looks like this located here, the alpha key that looks like this located here beside the shift key, as well as the A through F X, Y, and M alpha keys, which are located along here, and you can see the letter in red to the top right of the key there. Alright, so for the basics, if we just want to store a value, we can place it on the screen, then press Shift and then the RCL STO key, because the Shift function of this key is to store a value. And then we want to choose where we want to store that. We'll use these examples, so let's put 5 into A, so we'll press that. There you see 5 into A will appear on your screen. There you go. We can also store the result of calculations, so for example, if we want to put something into B, we'll do 2 plus 8 equals, see that equals 10, and then we do the same shift store into B. It says answer into B, that's our 10. We can recall these values by using the RCL function, so that's the main function of this key. So recall A, there we get A is 5, recall B, B is 10. And we can also use these in a formula. Let's say we wanted to do A plus B after we've stored these values for a long time. Well, we can use the alpha key to place A on the screen and add that to our B. I know this seems really simple, but it's a great help if we have long, complicated numbers. And then press equals, and we see we get a result of 15, which 5 plus 10, A plus B, is correct. We also have the M storage slot. Now this one's unique because it's the independent memory slot which means when we store something in there, store M, there we go, 100 into M, we can add and subtract to it with the M plus and M minus function here. So remember we have 100 stored in there. If we just go 2 and then M plus, there we go, 2 M plus, this will add that to, to our M value. You can see if we recall our M, it's now at 102. And we can subtract from this with the shift function of this key, which is the M minus. So let's put 10 on there, and then shift M minus. That's subtracting 10 from our M value. And if we recall that M again, we see it's now at 92, because we had 102, and it's down to 92 now. Now these memory slots are great for using in large complicated formulas. An example of this would be, let's say, using it for Pythagoras to solve this triangle here, where we know two sides and want to solve for the third. Well, we know that this formula can be used to solve for our hypotenuse, or C side, which is the same as this formula here. So if we decide that this will be our A side, and this will be our B side, we can store these values. So let's put 4 into our A, there we go, and 3 into our B. Shift, store, B, all right, there we go. Now we can enter these into a formula to easily solve for C. Let's do that and use this one here. So we know that it's square root of alpha a, there's our a there, squared, plus alpha b, we're using the alpha to use the letters of these keys, squared. All right, there's our formula. And if we press equals, we see we get 5, which is the result. 
and that's our length of C. It really simplifies doing this calculation here. When we're done with all our calculations, we can clear our memory slots with the second function of the 9 key here. You can recall A. You see we have 4 in there right now. But if we want to get rid of all that, we press Shift 9, which brings us to this screen here, our clear screen. And we want to clear the memory, so we choose 2, and then equals for yes. And it will tell us it's complete, so we press the AC key. Now all our memory slots will have been cleared and returned to zero. So if we recall A now, you see it's equal to zero. Recall our B, zero, etc. All right, I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests out there, everybody.